Welcome back to Fun is Offensive, everybody. You see what we got here. Four months late to the game, but my target finally got her. Let's just go ahead and jump right into this. This is going to be a fast review. So let's go ahead and open up this package and explore the inner. All right, so coming straight out of the gate, Natasha is fire. She is what everybody's been wanting to have from a female Marvel legend from a long, long time ago. It's kind of weird that we've already gotten this kind of body from other lines before so far. But uh, it's cool to see him in Marvel Legends, finally. Well, you know, I don't like it too much, you know. It's just not what I thought it would be. I thought it'd be cooler, you know. The heads aren't that good. The range of articulation and movement on this bad boy is, uh... This bee got it going on, you know what I'm saying? Easy, simple, sculpt, paint. I mean, she just looks absolutely fantastic. I think some of my videos are just basically going to become that. I'm going to bring you options you can do to change it up and make it a little bit better. From head to toe, it's completely all new, brand new sculpt. Pinless everything. She doesn't have a double bell. Uh, she doesn't have. She doesn't have a double barbell, double ball socket, whatever neck joint. But she's got the butterfly shoulders. Pinless DJ ease. Pinless DJ knees. She's got thigh cut. Boop. She's got no boot cut. <laughs> Touch your titty. But she's fantastic. She got a diaphragm swivel up top. She got an ab crunch on the bottom. Sleek paint job. The wrinkles and everything in the back. The line down the middle. All the little details definitely give off the jumpsuit vibe. Wrinkles across the butt cheeks too. Smooth and straight on the sides of the arms and legs. Keep it classy. I like the open collar. It really harkens back to... Frank Miller's take on Black Widow. This was my go-to Black Widow for the longest time, but now I'm torn on which one I need to put in my display because equally they are great in their own ways. Sure, her articulation is not nearly as good. It's all of this. It's all about the options, really. I'm only sure that everybody has seen countless Black Widow reviews, so I'm just going to breeze through all the accessories and crap and jump right into the fun shit. So this is her little uh, pouty face with her little scornful brow. The hair's not for me. The face sculpt looks great on this, but I mean, the hair is really going to take away a lot of the fun factor of articulation. Standing still in a pose, though, could be good. Who knows? Next up, I personally don't understand what they were going for with this look. I mean, the face is nice itself, but that hair, the crown of the hair is only a few inches above the eyebrow. I don't know. It's just the hair's bad. And then there's, of course, the head that she came with. Again, this is a really, really nice face sculpt. The hair option, I don't understand. I mean, they could have just pinned it back a little bit. Whoop. It still has the whole, you know, eye coverage-ish type thing, but that's just not good looking. All in all, though, Alan Aldo, Alan Aldo, Alan Aldo, the faces are all fantastic, but the hair on all these figures, it could have been better. It's not the best. They've done way better hair for female figures in the past, but this will definitely be my go-to head. I am definitely going to take a little bit of super glue and pin that hair back just about right there above the eyes. That would just look so much better. Black Widow comes with a little bitty Nerf pistol. She also comes with a quiet Nerf pistol. So many smoke effects. If there's more than this, I lost some of them. She also comes with newly sculpted open sprawling hands. Wow. Can we get up close? You can see the fingernails on the sculpt, so that's kind of funny. Black Widow comes with a good old pair of teeth beaters. She also comes with a pair of cigar holding hands. See? You just put your index finger over and eat that and you hold it and you smoke it. You chief on it. You smoke it. You dope it. You roll it up and choke it. The smoke hits your lungs and then it's dope enough to move your mouth. Nope. She comes with a pair of joint holding canisters for each wrist. She also comes with a pair of self-igniting joint canisters. She comes with a pair of joint dispensers that put themselves out. Hey DJ, hit us with a funky beat, pal. I don't want to break my neck peg anymore because this head fits real tight on there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you can have a really nice looking MCU Black Widow if you didn't want the comic look. She's got a good likeness. It works. It doesn't look out of place at all. The head's the right size, the right body. 
this may actually become my new MCU Black Widow. So I just thought about that on the spot. Woo woo. Looks kind of creepy. She looks kind of like Megan. If anybody knows the horror film, Megan. Well, she looks like a human perversion of artificial intelligence and human sentiency. Ooh. That's cool. Ooh. Let's get into another one here. So this is the one that saddens me the most. I really wish this fit better. Because this is my favorite Scarlet Witch. Or, oh my god. This is my favorite Black Widow head. I hope I haven't been saying Scarlet Witch. Because I feel like I've been saying Scarlet Witch. Anyway, that's a great head swap alternative. I'd have to dremel out the hole to make it a little bit deeper. But, again, options. That's all I'm giving people. Options. This is my current MCU Black Widow. The only problem, though, is that... This is her giraffe neck. And I even dremeled out the inside of the head to make it a little bit bigger and deeper. Didn't work out too well. So I want to do this on camera. Well, I want people to experience things with me for the first time too. No, I have not done this before. So let's just say if this head fits on here and it looks good, this is going to be my new MCU Black Widow. Please, 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 please. Oh my God. Yes, 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 and yes. This, finally, how long has it been? Five years? Yeah, Infinity War. So five years. I've been waiting five years for this head to finally fit on a good body without having to do anything to it. Look at that, man. That's gorgeous. Everybody should make this their Black Widow for the MCU. Good Lord, that head just fits so good. Oh, shit. Yep. Glad I kept recording this. That, man. All right, I'm gonna stop gushing over it. It just fits perfectly. The skin tones are absolutely perfect, too. Look at that. Skin tones are perfect. Sure, people don't like her because she's blonde or whatever it would be, but this is the best MCU Black Widow head, and this is now... Whoa. I can't even touch her. Woo! Woo! That was great. Trinity! Help! I like I've never put this head on this body either, and I mean it, it kind of works out all right. It's definitely not as good as the other one, but it looks great too, though. Not as good. Okay, so at the end of the day, you need to pick this figure up. If you're a fan of action figures, if you're a fan of Marvel Legends, if you're a fan of comics, if you're a fan of just fun for any reason, just go ahead and pick this up. You won't be disappointed. What you can do with it, what she offers, what she brings to the table, and the future of the Marvel Legends game, it can't be topped or matched. So I'm very excited to see what this buck is going to bring and what characters are going to get current upgrades or redos or reboots and remakes, first-time appearances. I mean, this is just going to be the beginning of something fantastic, and I'm all in for it. Everybody else should be, too. But anyway, we look at it. I appreciate y'all watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bells. If you're a fan of action figures or you know anybody that likes action figures like you do, share the videos. I'm just trying to bring some fun into the figure game. That's it. So please stay tuned for another exciting episode of Fun is Offensive in Your Fashion Face.